Let's get the latest from Washington. Harry Horton, our correspondent, is there for us. Harry, good morning to you. President Trump said the miss missile strike was in the national security interest. What did he mean by that? Well, U.S. officials fear that when we see the sort of chemical weapons attacks like the ones we saw this week, that that can turn Syrian rebels towards groups like ISIS, and then that does pose a national security threat to the United States. But this is a very dramatic U-turn by President Donald Trump. He and his team now very clearly hold the view that President Assad has to be removed from power. The message from the White House this morning is that President Assad crossed a line and President Trump has taken decisive action. The might of the U.S. military aimed at Syria in an act of retaliation. Assad choked out the lives of helpless men, women and children. It was a slow and brutal death for so many, even beautiful babies. As President Trump sat down to dinner with the Chinese Premier, he'd already given the order. 59 Tomahawk missiles launched from two warships, targeting the Syrian government's airfield, which the U.S. believes launched the chemical weapons that killed more than 80. The world will not tolerate the use of these chemical weapons. The retribution has been proportionate and it has been swift. What the President of the United States has done here is a violation of international law. He's committed aggressive war against another country. He has no right to do that under international law or under the Constitution of the United States for any reason whatsoever. It was images like these that provoked this abrupt U-turn from the president, who only last week said it should be the Syrian people who decided the future of their country. Trump also risks direct confrontation with Syria's ally Russia, though Moscow was informed before the strike. The question now is whether this was a one-off or signals the start of a campaign to remove President Assad. Harry Horton, Good Morning Britain, 